Good morning guys, today's a pretty exciting day, we are packing up our things and we're going on a Bosnian road trip. So we're just away to pick up our hire car um, and drive around the outskirts of the city, out with the old town, showing you some of the sights along the way because the longer we spend in this country, the more kind of crazy things we hear about it. So we're going to show you that along the way, so join us as we head on a road trip around Sarajevo. Where are we? So we've just arrived at Hotel Holiday, which is the most famous hotel in Sarajevo, because this is where the reporters and kind of the VIPs stayed during the Olympics. Also where the reporters stayed during the war, because it was one of the only places you could access the basics like water and food and a kind of safe-ish hotel room. So. Just waiting on our car, and then once we get the car, we can head exploring. Yeah, but look at this place. It's really nice. Look at the size of it. It's massive. It used to be a. It used to. This hotel used to be called the Holiday Inn. Mhm. Mm but after the war, it was obviously damaged, so I think it went abandoned for a few years. And now it's called Hotel Holiday. But yeah, it's pretty smart. But it's nice to see it open again. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully our car turns up because it's um, 22 minutes after it was meant to be here. <laughs> We're in our hire car. Just picked up our hire car. Yep. Got a Peugeot. Same as uh, Argentina. Ready to Men's. hit the road. Yep. Uh, funny story, the girl for the car hire was actually literally sitting on the sofas next to us and none of us realised that we were waiting for each other until literally like half an hour, half up, an hour after. Earlier. And she was like, why were you not here? And we're like, oh, sorry, we were. We've been here for like 20 minutes. Um, but, but it was fine. We got there in the yeah. end. Yeah, so we've got our car. I think we're all set up. And it's time to hit the road. We're off to, actually, first of all, not very exciting, but we're off to a food shop um, to get some supplies before we head out the road. And we're heading to B Bijelniska. Bijelniska. Ski resort. Ski used resort. Used for the 1984 Olympics. Yeah. So we're hoping that there is enough snow to give us a little boost and learn some skiing. Let's go. Let's go. So we're currently driving through Bosnia, through Sarajevo. And I think in a minute, we're actually gonna change and we'll be starting to drive through the Republic of Serbska. Yep. Oh, maybe not. That's not the road we're going to change. And the way you can tell is when you look at the roads, if the roads aren't nice and um, paved, it means that it's Republic of Serbska. And if the roads are nice, then it means you're in Bosnia. Check Fed the Federation. Check the mountain views. Yeah, look at that. Slightly different, um, God, I'm bright. It's a slightly different weather than what we had about an hour ago. Yeah. Absolutely chucking it down. So, yeah, it's looking better, more promising. So, we're just heading to the bobsleigh track again um, to see it in the daylight. So, we have just arrived at Trebic Mountain, one of the best views over Sarajevo, but we're not just here for the view. We're actually here to see the abandoned bobsled track that was only used three times, I believe. Basically, this was like the biggest part of the war. So this is right on the border between where Sarajevo is and where the siege was happening. So it's all abandoned, graffitied up, damaged. So we're just walking through this forest yep. and we should be there. I said it was about Five 500 meters, yeah. so should be there in any time now. Yeah. 
This is probably one of the craziest tourist attractions I've ever been to. This was the bobsled track that was used in 1984 for the Olympics. But as you can see, it's completely abandoned, covered in graffiti, but even with the fog, it's got like a kind of spooky atmosphere, but it's really, really cool to see. And you can see all the way down towards the next corner as well. It's in exactly the same state, but yeah, definitely cool to visit. This was the mascot for the 1984 Olympics. And I think his nickname was Wolfie. But basically this mountain Trebovich borders what's known as the Federation of Bosnia, where Sarajevo is, but also the Republic of Srpska. And that is like a completely, it's in Bosnia, but it's completely different in a lot of ways. So you'll see acrylic writing all over Republic of Srpska, whereas you won't see it in Sarajevo or the Federation. Um, you'll also, even the money's different. Um, so they print a Serbian, on some notes and a Bosnian or Bosniak on other notes. And that's why they've had to have three presidents. So they've got one that rep represents the Serbs, one that represents the Croatians, and one that represents the Bosnians. So for such a so small country, there's a lot of chaos and unorganization, but pretty unique system. This place is like super interesting. It feels kind of spooky because of all like, well it's foggy today and like you can hear the rain. There's not many people going about. But yeah, it's a cool but weird tourist attraction. Definitely worth coming. the top and the view's epic. The clouds have actually just shifted which is nice so we can see all the way down to Sarajevo. Um, you can get the cable car up here. We've got our car so we just walked up um, the hill. But yeah, what a view. Sarajevo is out of 10, I'm giving it a 10. The only point I would knock off, and I think you would agree Dan, is smoking is everywhere. Yeah, like you can't and the air in, quality. Yeah, and the air quality. But you, it's, did you know, so Sarri, uh, yeah, Sarajevo, Sarajevo is seventh in the world of worst air quality. Mad. From such a, like a, I guess, small city, really. But yeah, this wraps up our time in Sarajevo. So we hope you've enjoyed seeing it because we've absolutely loved being here. What an incredible time we've had. Uh, and we will see you in the next one for something a little bit special in Bosnia. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.